Uh, look, I, I think for me, the issue of the documentary on the God scam in Zimbabwe uh, concerning President Munangagwa and his administration and then involving Ambassador Yoberenjo, I think for, from where I stand, as a former Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Zambia from 2014 to 2018, doesn't amount to much. Because uh, diplomats have to go beyond the call of duty to convince investors that uh, they have the ear of the principal, uh, who is the president, that they're the rightful ones to convince you to, to go in their country. And remember, we are competing for the same investors, same interests. And so one has to use their ingenuity to make sure that they attract their investors in their, uh, in their country. And so there's nothing strange about what we saw behind the scenes. And remember, the conversation is being held behind the scenes. Diplomats do all kinds of things in trying to convince uh, investors to go in their jurisdictions. Some have to throw cocktails. Some have to invite people for holidays. Some have to do all kinds of things to invite investors to go and invest in their own country. And for a country like Zimbabwe, we have to understand it from the perspective of the sanctions that Zimbabwe is going through. Zimbabwe has been going through excruciating sanctions, and President Mnangagwa needs to be encouraged instead of being vilified. Uh, Ambassador Uberenjo also has to be encouraged, you know. He is doing a lot of good for his country amid his, all these challenges, and he has managed to put his name to his country's uh, uh, growth uh, um, and economic emancipation. And because of that, these people need to be encouraged. Therefore, uh, from where I stand, there's nothing strange about that documentary. Only that somebody had uh, ulterior motives, wanting to reach a certain conclusion in order to cement their argument. But truth be told, that's what all diplomats, uh, most diplomats do behind the scenes. They do all kinds of things behind the scenes to convince their, uh, their investors to go in their country. And as a result, you find that they have to say what they should say. Uh, behind the scenes, so much is said. But unfortunately, we are seeing it and trying to portray that uh, monies were going in people's pockets. And from that documentary I've seen, there is no evidence there to show that money was going in uh, Ambassador Angel's uh, account or President Mnangagwa's account. It was all for the country. That is why I saw there is a Chamber of Commerce involved, uh, meaning that the money, obviously, the proceeds from the way government works, proceeds will have to go back to, to government uh, coffers. So my take on this is that I think there's no halabaloo. Uh, we should not cry wolf uh, when we see a puppy. Uh, diplomats have got a lot of work. And anybody who has cared to be a diplomat will tell you that there's a lot of work involved in convincing an investor. I know it myself. I have had, had the experience for five years working in that field. I have had people come to me myself. I have had, we have had to go to people. And what we discuss behind the scenes remains behind the scenes. But uh, what we are seeing now is trying to play down the role of diplomats and postcone on diplomats. I think for me the story is neither here nor there.